In this video, I'll show you how to use the new macro controls to adjust multiple parameters at once for creative results. If I go into the mixer and I take a look at our ambient ribbon mic, we have the Comp76 compressor. Let's take a listen to how that sounds by itself. So this compressor has a big impact on the sound of our drums because it is impacting the sound of the room. I want to adjust a few of the parameters and give myself a way to make multiple adjustments to this compressor and have a little more leverage and flexibility rather than just turning it on and off. I'm gonna open up the macro controls. We'll open up this compressor. I'll right click on the input gain and we're going to bind it to macro parameter one. We'll take the output, right click, and also bind it to macro parameter one. And then we'll go ahead and open up the macro parameter one properties and you can see we have input gain and output level. So I've input some values here and if I turn the macro parameter, what you're gonna see is the input gain and the output adjust at the same time. And what I've done is I've set a max and minimum level for each so it doesn't go too far on either side. As I increase the input for the compressor, I'm also decreasing the output. So I'm trying to keep the gain level about the same, but the compressor will react differently at the different input levels, which should make the room, the ambient ribbon mic, sound different as well. Let's take a listen. and with the full mix. Let's go back into the drums tab and I'm going to select all of my drums, excluding the cymbals. I'm going to turn on the envelope. I'm going to adjust the release. We'll put this on a second macro parameter. And with everything selected, if we open that up, we'll see those all listed here. So what I've done is create a way to adjust the envelope of the entire kit with one knob. Now the purpose of this is to use macro parameter one, which is our input level into our compressor on the room channel and macro parameter two, which is the envelope for all of the drums, including the hi-hat. Let's go ahead and label them. And now I'm going to assign them to a hardware controller so I can control both at the same time. I'll right click, say MIDI learn. The CC information that comes in from my controller will be recorded and learned by Superior Drummer 3. So now we have two independent controls for our comp macro and our envelope macro. So let's go ahead and play the groove and see what kind of creative results we can come up with by combining the two. Now, a couple things I noticed right away. I have to have my kit envelope dial turned all the way up to be at the starting point, which makes sense, but 
I want the starting point to be to the left. So I'm going to open up the kit envelope macro. I'm going to select all and inverse all. Now with the kit envelope dial turned all the way off, the envelope is unaffected. Secondly, these envelope adjustments are pretty extreme. So I want to go into my mixer. Let's go to the ambient ribbon mic. We'll bring back the properties window and let's extend the envelope of the instruments coming through this room mic so that they still have that sustain even though the closed channels all have envelope adjustments happening. So that way it's not as extreme. We still have the room sound and because we're altering the compressor on the room, that should give us some more creative results as well. So those are just a few of the things you can do with the macro parameters to alter the sound of the kit. You can also automate macro controls by going through the same process. I have Superior Drummer 3 loaded in my DAW and this is the exact same setup. My macro parameters are controlled by the same MIDI controller and every DAW will be different but in order to automate these macro controls you just have to automate the single control itself. All of the parameters associated with that macro control will be handled by Superior Drummer 3. So that's how you can create an industrial sounding kit using stacking parameter adjustments like the level envelope tuning and velocity adjustments by adding a mix preset and making modifications using macro controls, assigning them to a hardware controller and automating them. This is all done using the powerful sound design features of Superior Drummer 3.